That's my line. Uh, <laughs> be professional, man. Come on, for what? Just kidding. Wait, do you guys have a limit for your for your for how many beers we drink? Like four or five. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, and welcome back to the side dish. I'm Jay, and with me, as always, is Adam. Woo! What's up, man? What are we doing today? <laughs> well, sometimes on the side dish, we like to check in on previous guests, right? And mm-hmm. like we like to see what they're up to since they came on the pod. Unfortunately, Ooh, you got something good. <laughs> well, unfortunately for us, Adam, everyone was busy. So, oh. I mean, we're left with Heath. There's nobody else. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> but um, for those of you who don't remember, Heath was from episode seven of season one, and he's the drummer for the band Arnold Hill. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. So, he's here right now. We're not going to do any fancy, like our really regular fancy intros or anything like that. Um, so, Heath, how you doing, man? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm doing great. Doing good, man. How, you've been wearing those inside undies that we sent you. You know they're kind of hard to get off. To be honest <laughs> with you, <laughs> um, perfect. That's the, perfect. Uh, you've really, really locked some things down. So we'll just leave Lock it. Lock the at moisture that. in. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <It's awful. laughs> All right. I'm glad to hear they're working out for you, man. Uh, um, but uh, I'd love to talk about the inside uh, podcast underwear the whole time, but. Uh, we we want to hear what's been happening with the band since you guys uh, were, were on the podcast last. Yeah, so uh, we've been doing a lot of songwriting, um, and we also have done uh, a few uh, uh, fundraiser type events, live stream events. So we did one back in December for uh, the Youth Village's Holiday Heroes program, okay, uh, where we were able to raise thirteen hundred dollars for kids in Western North Carolina who. Uh, weren't able to have like a proper Christmas and they had needs and wants for stuff they needed. So, yeah, I remember um, I sent 1200 in off of Adam's credit card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter where the money came from, but uh, no, it you know, doesn't. we, we, we love that we raised that much money and no, it was awesome. I watched it. It was incredible. Thanks. Uh, you know, so we had a good time doing that. Uh, we have another one coming up soon that we're going to be doing in partnership with the Haywood Pathways Center in Haywood County, North Carolina. That that live stream is on February 25th at 6 p.m. Uh, okay. and it's for the Empty Bowls event. And it helps uh, homeless people and, and hungry people in Haywood County be able to get food and shelter and, and resources that they need. So, Well, Heath, lucky for you, this uh, episode is going to come out on the 22nd. So that's pretty good timing. My, hey, my so brother. that's... Uh, <laughs> This this upcoming Thursday, if you're listening live, then yeah, <laughs> yeah, six p.m. on our Facebook page, which Ooh. is Arnold Hill Band, which not our name, but whatever <laughs> uh, you call us, whatever you want. Okay, so get just on enjoy, uh, just... <laughs> our Arnold Hill Band on Facebook yep. on the page, uh, so that, that you can check these guys out. You know, we interact with the people that are on the stream, and we just we have a really good time. So, and we play great music. I think. I hope you do too. <laughs> and they're going to ask you for a donation. Yeah, exactly. Get, get Everyone you bust out your wallets, everybody. Yeah. Well, you know, it helps people in need. So don't be, a, <laughs> don't be a jerk. <laughs> well, uh, well, Heath, uh, one thing else that you guys have been working on is um, a new song you guys have called room of broken dreams that you actually entered it into a contest. Uh, what was that all about? Yeah. So there's a great YouTube channel called gems on VHS. Uh, mm-hmm. Gems spelled G E M S like a, like a precious stone. It's a really great channel. You should check it out. Uh, there's a lot of great up and coming artists uh, of, that we enjoy listening to, like Americana and all kinds of stuff. Um, and this is a song that's going to be on our upcoming record that I'll tell you about in a little bit. Teaser. And um, then we recorded it just kind of here in the house and, and we sent it in for submission and we got a bunch of great feedback from from our fans and, and people that love us. So. Well, I can't. I'm I'm clawing at the desk here. So, how about we just give it a quick little listen? Yeah, let's sure. Do here it. you go. Cross the line into the state of mind that I've been held up for. So Will we come to realize that it's been us and not the world that's wrong? It's time to lay 
down our own greed and try to give out more than what we take. Put the shovel down before we dig too deep and fall in our own grave. But in the end I know that there's no turning back from where I want to be. I can show you greatness, I can show you how to run, so follow me. Even in the darkest light can always shine much brighter than it seems. Take a leap of faith and get away from the room of broken dreams. That was so good. Wow, oh my man. gosh. I'm excited. <laughs> it's a fun song. We will, we yeah. yeah, man. Great work. So you guys yeah. always have such great harmonies and stuff. Thanks but so much, man. Th- this, you know, because we hear that you have this new song, I mean, that gets me to thinking like you guys are getting ready to head back to the studio. Is that right? Yeah. So we're excited to be back uh, in the studio. We're doing five days straight in April. Uh, you know, making it like a little band retreat for us. And that's it. To, just five days. Just that's all we need, man. We're well, I say that we may need more, but we're, yeah. Didn't you do the last album in one day? It was like an hour, right? <laughs> Come on. I mean, no, but <laughs> <laughs> so that means this one would be five times better. Yeah. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> which, I, I hope so. Which is hard to do. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate that. Cause uh, number one, which it's not called number one. <laughs> number one was awesome <laughs> well yeah what's going to be different in this like this next album you guys are putting out like uh any any more three-part harmonies is mike is mike bringing back the thing uh yeah the intro so, <laughs> the uh <laughs> the big difference there out of this record is that we it's more of a collective album like we wrote all the songs more together they're all very fresh songs um that we wrote mainly in the end of 2019 and throughout 2020 uh, yes, three-part harmonies are in a lot of the songs, um, and the material of the songs are more things that we care about. You know, mm. of course, there's like you know, of course, I wrote another song about a girl because that's what I do. It but is. there's also there's also songs about you know like some of the social injustices that are happening in our country and and that kind of stuff too. So, and just us growing up as individuals and as a band. So. You know, the fun part about going to the studio is that we don't know exactly what all we're going to be adding or doing. Um, of course, there will be some interesting instruments on there. It's maybe some dope or maybe some slide guitar. Ooh. Um, you will know, there be it's a, just another hidden instrument. Like an Easter. Uh, like, <laughs> yeah, like like the horn on the first record. Like the yeah. horn that we, yeah. I still don't have my $5 yet because I haven't found well, it. Because you hadn't found it yet. I know. So <laughs> it's a. Uh, I'm sure that there will be because Mike uh, is, will just go in there and be like, hey, man, I want to play that thing on the wall right there and then do it. And then it'll sound great. And then we'll just bury it in the mix. So, you know, <laughs> well, it adds, the crazy thing is, is he he can't he can actually play it, even though to him, he's just like, hey, right. No, play that I, thing. <laughs> I love Mike to death. I mean, he's so talented. And, and I mean, hell, Sam can play a lot of instruments, too. So you never know what's going to happen. We're having a good time. <laughs> Well, it certainly comes out in the in the music, and I know we're joking around a lot, but you guys are definitely professional uh, musicians, and the, the sound is incredible. I was just looking; it looks like the song uh, "Mole Hill" is getting some good streams on Sto- uh, Spotify. And but, but I'm just wondering, you know, that's not the only source for music, right? There's like there's a lot of other places people are getting your music and lis- listening to music, so. No, you know, we are we are on uh, Spotify and Apple Music and all that kind of good stuff. But we've also recently uh, got linked up with an independent uh, online radio station called Buzz Radio Asheville. Cool. Um, and they feature exclusive, like, Asheville area artists. It's like, mm-hmm. if you're an Asheville area artist, that's what they're playing. Um, the Asheville music scene is so interconnected and so fun and supportive of each other. Uh, that we were just like, we've got to, you know, get involved with these guys because they're doing a great thing. 
and uh, it's buzzradioashville.com. You can listen live on there. You can request some of your favorite Asheville area artists. Some friends of ours uh, are on there. Andrew Scotchy and the River Rats, uh, PMA, Bull the Barker, another great friend of ours. Um, That's awesome, man. And I, I was looking at uh, you guys have kind of been in the top 10 requested songs in the last few weeks too, right? Our song, Heart of Stolen, has been in the top 10 for two weeks in a row now. So we're oh, happy shoot. for that. And uh, shout shouts out to Buzz Radio Asheville for featuring us. So, so Heath, uh, we we want folks to know that there's more to you than just being a drummer, although not, not much, a, not much more. Right? <laughs> no. <laughs> but you're kind of proud of that too, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> but so once uh, you worked at, at a casino for well for quite a while, several years as the regional special events and promotions coordinator. And I've, well, yep. I, I've heard two other jobs too. Um, yep. So you worked three jobs and got paid for one is what I'm hearing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <That totally goes. laughs> but like you have some pretty crazy stories from working there. And you, you were telling us about one of those before we got on here. We were just thinking that, you know, maybe it's a little teaser. You'd share that with our, with our listeners right here and now. Yeah. So uh, in that position, uh, we used to, I was kind of in charge of all the giveaways and like giving away money and cars and, and all that kind of fun stuff. So I was also like the MC for all the events that we did. Uh, so we were at our sister casino out in Murphy, North Carolina. I was the MC for the event. So I was like getting the hype up going before the drawing, because at the, at the location, people would just like gather around us before we would call the names out and stuff. And they would just stare at us like we were crazy. So I was like, all right, well, I'm going to interact with these folks. So I had two microphones. So I would talk to people, interview them like, hey, I think we were giving away like ten or $15,000 that night. And I was like, hey, like, what would you do if you won the money? And this woman that was right in front of us, uh, like, I mean, right in front of me, and I, I asked that question and I put the mic like in her face and she just points at her ears and mouths the words like I'm deaf, I can't hear. Oh, no. And I was like, Gosh, Oh Heath. man. Well, uh he before you go, we got a really quick surprise speed round with some questions we, we whipped up for you. You think you can handle it? I can try. <laughs> All right. So if someone said you could have six arms, and I'm assuming you can hold six drumsticks at this point, but uh as a caveat, you weren't you uh you went blind from it. Would you do it? So I play a lot with my eyes closed anyway, because I, you know, I get into it. There's that, but I would much rather, even though my eyes are kind of garbage, um, like I have to have a really thick contacts apparently, uh, I would still rather see and use my two hands because that's all I need, baby. Okay. <laughs> Who would you play a kit for if you could play with any musician? It's a speed um, round. Just a reminder. I mean, I have some, I have some of my favorite bands, but that's because they're favorite drummers too. But we need an answer. Go! <laughs> I would play with Arnold Hill because those are my two best friends. Oh, oh that's so that's terrible! So lame. That's a weak answer. <laughs> okay, August Burns Red. I would play August Burns Red. There we go. Oh, that's you better. Go. Um, you an acoustic kit man or an electric kit? Oh, acoustic every day of the week. Electric kits have their place, but acoustic kits have my heart. So. If you had to add a fourth band member, what would they play? Triangle. What would they play? Oh, man. I'm just going to keep it simple and say rhythm guitar, honestly. Who would it be? Who would it be? Ben Farmer. I knew it! (laughs) Hands down. We used to play with Ben Farmer back in the day in college, and like the dude's a serious – he's a solid rhythm player. Or, okay, on the other side of that, a lead player, and it would be Adam Blythe. Oh. You're gonna say Adam Mottershead. Uh, uh, no, I don't know who that is. So. Who's, who's Adam? Who's Adam Blythe? <laughs> he was the, play, the the lead player for Buchanan Boys. That he moved to Raleigh. Adam and Ben both always have open invitations to come play with us. Not you, Adam. Other Adam. Thank Sorry, you. man. Adam, that's harsh. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna recover from this one. This is, the slow, <laughs> this is the slowest speed round ever. <laughs> All right, yeah, back to it. Here we go. All right, Heath, okay. what's your dream venue that you could play in? Probably Red Rocks. Oh, oh that's, that's a good one. Colorado. That's a good one. Who would you be opening up for? Jason Isbell. 
I knew you were going to say that. I thought Jason Sewell was going to open up for you guys. That's fine too. Either way, <laughs> I knew you were going to say. <laughs> or, that. or uh, what's that big one in in England in London? Wembley, Wembley no. Stadium. Oh, Wembley. No. Uh, I mean, the Wembley cool too, but uh, so the the the, I, the Arthur Hall, the the uh, yes Hall Buckingham Palace. Palace. No, no, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's uh, this. edit this part out. <laughs> Well, Heath, thanks for coming on and giving us an update about Arnold Hill. And uh, we can't see y'all again live. Um, so thanks, man. All righty, Jay, you think that's it for today? I think that's going to wrap her up, man. All righty. Well, that was The Side Dish. Again, Arnold Hill's new song was Room of Broken Dreams, and it will be available on their next record. Special thanks to Heath for coming on and putting Woo-hoo. up with us for the next 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> oh, Royal Albert Hall. That's yes, the that was it. Royal Albert Hall. <laughs> That's it. That's my number two. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. So make sure to follow us on Instagram at the Inside Podcasters or email us at the Inside Podcasters at gmail.com. I love the side dish. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> look, yeah. I mean, look around. Look at look at the studio, man. You can tell that we're not pinching any pennies here. We'll just have to... You guys want take Tina's? <clears throat> no, never. So we call Sam in the studio because he's a one-take team. <laughs> <laughs>